Oh, you're gonna buy one too? No, I'm gonna buy this one. Oh. For half price. Half it's, price! It's used. Dad! Hello, Snack Pack. Welcome back to Travel Snacks. In today's video, we're gonna talk about an idea I had to try to keep my food cold and frozen while living in my car. Now, this is a continuation somewhat of the video I did about the Igloo ice cooler that worked, but was just something I didn't wanna to have to deal with day in and day out. So I decided to give this fridge freezer a try to see if I could use that in my car. So let's see what happens. I've decided to try a different solution. Now this one cost substantially more, but I think for the convenience and for being able to have cold food and frozen food on the road, I think this might be possibly the way to go in a car. Now there's gonna be pros and cons, which I'll detail along the way, but this is my first unboxing of it and the first time I'm putting it in the car to see if it's even gonna work. So hopefully it'll all pan out, but if not, I guess we'll see together. Unboxing the Ico fridge freezer combo. It's an empty box. They're like, put some ice in here. It'll be ice cold. Is this a joke? It's another box in a box. The refrigerator is this small. It's like a lunch box. They seriously put a box in a box. They couldn't have just shipped it in that box? Wasteful. Bum, ba, da, da. Okay, so it's fairly big. It might not fit in my front seat. Oh, what that? <laughs> Did you eat your spinach today? Okay, so it's not that majorly big. I mean, it's it's big like a cooler. How heavy is it? About 200 pounds. Oh, great. The tissue paper, so it doesn't scratch. Oh, it's like pearl white. Like it's got shimmers in it. Oh, okay. Let me take this. How do you just want it to be a full fridge freezer? We're gonna try to put it on the floor. I think I'm good. Okay. Well, kind oh, of. Oh, it's. Wait. Well. Does it seat all the way, all the way back, or it can't be all the way back? I mean, I think it's already too back for my mattress. Like the seat. Is already. Yeah. yeah, it's actually all the way back. We got the we got the cooling area, but we don't have the the lift. You can lift that much, but then you're pushing against. You're gonna be. I hope that's not the vent too. I think it may be. Hmm. Ay yeah yeah. And I don't think it will go sideways, right? Because you couldn't lift the lid. Right. Just don't put it in the trunk. We well, wouldn't have a long enough cord anyway. Right. This is what it would look like on the seat. See if you can even close the door. Right. That's not too bad. And it's got the ventilation behind here and over there. And you can come right here and get your food. And people literally know that I'm living in my car. And that vent is aiming towards the leather. That long vent. Right. I was hoping it'd be on this side. The other option is, like you say, be like that's that. tipping off the edge. Well, yeah, it's not going to go anywhere if we, if we you know, make a base right. for it. But you're right, people would know. I mean, it's doable, and this way it'd ventilate the right way. Can it go on the back? Like, could it fit there if I put the seat all the way forward? Wouldn't that be awesome? Because isn't the bed part of it fit down there? It'd be sitting on yeah, top. but so I'd have to deflate that part. That would be the supporting part of my bed. But that'd suck because every time I'd have to lift my whole mattress up, to get something out of the fridge. I don't think that's gonna work because then the vents are gonna go against that. It was close on the floor, but. I mean, I think this is the best option of all the options and we can raise that part up right here with a little board or something. Yeah. So the vents are exposed. Why is the plug gotta be on that side? That's gonna be too tight. So now this has got to go up a little even further. That's all the way back. Yeah. So it's going to have to tilt like that. 
no. Probably couldn't get like something like that. Oh! Yeah, we'd have to raise it up. I think you're right. We raised it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might even be better for opening the door. Yeah, I would just wouldn't be able to get in my glove box, so I just need to make sure nothing's in there. Let's see. You can try. Let's get a board. See if we can find a board or something. Okay. I'll see what I can find. Okay. The styrofoam it came with. Well, that was an idea. Okay, back to square two. I'll put a towel over it, so I don't think it'll scratch the bottom anyway. But All right. this is about two inches. Oh, the plugs are perfect. Plenty of air ventilation. But that moves over a little bit. Here, I'm going to close your door and see how much you can open it. Okay. Can you even close the door? Ah! Nope. That, Poop. That, that's it right there. That's the end of the story. Shoot. Yeah, because the door rests, the this arm part, rests. This part here. Oh, that that's part? It. Yeah. Shoot. So. Well, the ice co <laughs> is not going to fit in the front seat of this car unless you put it on the actual seat. I don't want to put this ice coat on the seat. Also because of the, the and heat, and the heat, heat coming out of the vents. Right, we'll just be spraying heat on my leather seats. Probably destroy it. The condensation or whatever. And so now if you have a car that has a little more leg room in the front or maybe There's... the doors further out like a SUV, I think this would be great. I think we're still gonna try it. I think we're gonna put it on the seat just to just to try to see if this will like work, like in terms of not running the battery down, but we'll see, we gotta talk about that. I know you want the result of this Iceco fridge freezer, but take a minute and chill. And while you're doing that, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and throw a like on it. Okay, instead of trying it in the car, we're just gonna try it here in the house with the plug because it comes with the car one, but it also comes with a female that you can plug that in and then just plug it into the wall. So we're gonna just check to test it to see just if see it even really works crazy. and freezes and, and cools. Here we go. Ta da! We've got light. Whoops, the snowflake me. It says press the snowflake to turn on the fast speed cooling mode. So You're zero. setting it to zero, but it still has to go down. It's not gonna instantly be zero. Oh. It's gotta go down. Okay, and that's just like this one's going right. down. Okay, so we want this to be 40. We said it 40, right? Okay, it took about 17 minutes for this fridge part to get to in the 30s. This was going down steadily, but then it started evening out. So now this is this was at nine. Now it's back to 20. So now now this has hit the refrigerator lowness. It's going to probably bring this down. Well, where, now where this is. is we put it to 39 and it's going down more. So I think it has to just even out. I mean, less than 20 minutes, that's pretty good. This should be awesome in the back of my Jeep. Oh, you're gonna buy one too? No, I'm gonna buy this one. Oh. For half price. Half it's, price! It's used. Dad, for 20 minutes. Doesn't matter, it's used. So once we unplug this, I'm gonna give you 50 bucks for it. No. I think this still has a little work to do. That's zero, liar. It was zero. No, it wasn't. It was zero. It did hit zero and it was like 47 minutes. Now, it, oh, it's now out of four. What's happening? It's going the wrong way. <laughs> we didn't even open it. It's turned into a warmer box. It's a heater and it's a microwave. Wait, we can buy it sideways. I was excited because it hit zero. Now it's just going way up. Well, we don't know if it's freezing, but we're gonna put this water in here. Okay, so it's been just a little over two hours. Let's check it out. Okay, so this is the freezer part and it's completely frozen. And it feels very, very cold in here. You see there's like ice. There's like ice build up here. Here's the fridge part, and this is just very cold water. And it feels very cold. This temperature has been fluctuating during this whole couple hour process. So I would say if you're gonna use this for in-house, it's definitely gonna work really well. Okay, great, so it works in the house, but I would imagine if you're watching this video, you probably, aren't gonna be using it in the house. You wanna use it in a car or a van. So what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna to move the unit from the house 
into the car on the front seat, which is something I wouldn't do, but just so that I can show you that it, if it does work, you could use it in a car, theoretically, if you wanted to put it on a seat. Also, I've pre-chilled, which just means that I've plugged it in in the house so that it's already at the low temperatures. So when I put it in the car, it's already gonna be at the freezing cold temperatures. Well, the bummer part is that the cord is over here, like facing the seat and the vent is facing the seat. So I'm gonna put another towel here. Right now I have this propped up on a butt pillow and a towel. It's not very stable, but whatever. Okay, so let me plug this into my cigarette lighter adapter thingy. Does the car have to be on? Because nothing's happening. Wait, no. How's that supposed to work? Okay, so the only other cigarette lighter looking thing that I have in this car is in the back seat behind this rest, which is where my bed is inflated. <laughs> Let me just try it if I can find it because my mattress is inflated right now. I can't even show you because it's just so, ah, so stuck in here. Okay, it's plugged in. Gotta get my hand out. Nope. Well, this was a short test. So apparently, I guess some cars, the plug will still work off the battery when your car is shut down. But other cars like mine, apparently, you'd have to have the car on if you want this to be running all the time, especially at night, your car's not gonna be on. You would have to have like another battery and an inverter, I guess, for this to work. And then now we're back to spending a bunch of money. So if you watch the microwave video, you'll see that I bought an inverter that was expensive and it just started to add up to like two, $300. And so this thing was already $300. So I'm not trying to spend another like 200 on an inverter and cables. My final thoughts on the Iceco fridge freezer is that number one, it looks really nice. It performs really well in the house. If you wanna use it in a car, not so much. It was a great price because I got it for about $300, but you would have to leave your car on in order for it to work. I'm gonna say it's a no for me on this fridge freezer for the car. And I would say, unless your car has a very strong battery that's gonna last over and over and over, even throughout the night, I don't really know another way to test that because I'm not really trying to burn out my battery for something I know that I'm not gonna keep. But I did wanna do this review just to make sure that if you're thinking of adding some, some sort of fridge freezer to your car, think of these things. So although I really did enjoy having this Iceco fridge freezer to try, I'm definitely gonna be sending it back. Snack time. Snack time.